everybody, it's Miss Sarah again. I'm so excited for this story that I'm about to read you guys because it's one of my very favorite, favorite stories. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, it's Knuckle Bunny. Now, do any of you guys have this book at home? If you don't, this is such a good, good story to have for your house if you have it. Um, but this is about a little girl named Trixie. And Trixie's still really, really little. She can't quite talk yet, okay? And Trixie goes on an errand with her daddy, and we're gonna have to see what happens to Knuckle Bunny, okay? So this is called Knuckle Bunny. This is by Mo Willems. Mo Willems is the same guy that writes all the pigeon books and all the elephant and piggy books. He's one busy guy. Mm -hmm. So this is Knuckle Bunny. Here's the title page. I'll show you Trixie. She's hugging her knuckle bunny. It looks like those are some pictures of her mommy and daddy when they got married and then whenever Trixie was a baby and then whenever they moved into their house. Isn't that cute? Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Now, do you friends know what an errand is? An errand is whenever you have to go out of the house to get something done. Like, maybe you have helped your mommy and daddy um, go to the grocery store. Or maybe you have helped them go to the post office or the bank. Um, or something like that where you have to go out of the house um, to get something done. I know it's hard to leave the house now. A lot of people are really only leaving the house um, to go to the grocery store. And some people, whenever they're leaving their house right now, they're wearing masks. And that's just to keep them safe and to keep everybody else safe too. Trixie and her daddy went through the block, went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Hmm, do you know what a laundromat is? A laundromat is somewhere where um, people go to do their laundry. Now, think about your house. Do you have a washing machine and a drying machine in your house? Or do you have a washing, washer and a dryer in your apartment? Like Miss Sarah lives in an apartment and my washer and dryer are all the way down in the basement. Um, and I share the washer and dryer with the other people who live in my apartment building. But you might have a laundry room in your house where you have a washer and dryer. But for some people, they don't have a washer and dryer in their house or in their apartment. So they have to go to somewhere called a laundromat. And a laundromat is somewhere where you can go um, to, have, to wash your clothes. And there's lots of washing machines and lots of dryers. And you have to bring coins. So that's where Trixie and her daddy are going. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. Do you think she's doing a very good job helping? Oh my goodness. Look how silly. She even got to put the money into the machine. Then they left. Do you see something? I do. Who's in the washing machine? But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Apple, Waggle, Club, Apple. That's right, Dad. That's right, honey, said her daddy. We're going home. <gasps> Trixie said again, Apple, Waggle, Club, Apple. Waggle, Paddle. Won't be flappy. <laughs> now remember, Trixie's too little to talk, right? She's still learning how to use her words. So she can't tell her daddy that they left Knuckle Bunny at the laundromat. Oh no. Now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie cried. Wah! Oh, she went boneless. She 
did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. And by the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. Do you think your mommies and daddies are happy whenever you scream and cry and sob? It's okay to cry sometimes, right? <laughs> as soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Knuckle Bunny? <gasps> now her daddy realized that they left Knuckle Bunny at the laundromat. Oh no, what are they going to do? The whole family ran down the block and through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for an apple bunny and looked and looked and looked. But Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Oh no, that's terrible. So, Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until <gasps> Nuffle Bunny! And those were the first words Trixie ever said. And if you look at the back cover, they're going home and Trixie has her knuckle bunny. Do you see? Now wasn't that a good story? Now there's a couple of really interesting things about this story that you might have noticed when I was reading. The illustrations um, actually have real pictures in them. So let me show you a little example. For instance, whenever Trixie is leaving her house, this is a real picture of an apartment that would be that you would find in a city. And then if you look at this, this is a real picture of an actual laundromat that's in a city. Isn't that interesting? So Mo Willems, whenever he illustrates the book, he draws the characters, but then the backgrounds are photographed. Isn't that interesting? Um, so something else I want you to think about too, um, now that we're having lots and lots of home days, I bet your parents and your family are working a lot on laundry. Did you know that that's something that you can help with too? So whenever your mommy and daddy bring in a basket of laundry, you can help to fold that laundry. Folding is something that you can do, especially if you're three years old, if you're four years old, you're five years old, you can definitely fold laundry. And even if you're two years old, you can even help to match the socks. You can match socks, and I'm sure if you're three and you're four and you're five, you can match socks as well. Um, so I want you to think about different things that you can do to help your parents at home during this time. And folding laundry, matching socks, is just one of those little things, right? You wanna make sure that you're cleaning up after yourself. You wanna make sure that you're using your listening ears. Um, maybe putting your toys away or keeping track of your toys so you don't lose Nuffle Bunny like Trixie did, so you don't lose your toys, right? Um, so, yeah, and I really, really like this story, and I hope that you enjoyed it too. If you don't have this book, this is a really good book to have. All right, everybody, um, I wish you all very, very well, and have a good rest of your day.